Hello and welcome to another edition of Client for Life. It's very nice to be talking to you all right now. I have to say, it's been one of the busiest weeks I can ever remember. I have been across a lot of uh, new projects that are coming on the market. I've been involved in quite a bit of pricing and uh, getting a lot of consultation and I can't believe what I'm seeing. Um, properties that we were struggling to get 8,600 a square metre are now 9,000 and 10,000 a square metre. Um, it really is uh, a bit of a crazy market out there. We listed a uh, 24 apartment block in Glen Iris with some lovely uh, open spaces, some really uh, big courtyards almost the size of the apartments and we we're exceedingly interested in those and, res and tried to reserve four or five for clients and that not only would the vendor not reserve them, he wouldn't hold them even and uh, uh, by the time we uh, had made contact and had uh, showed people some properties, um, he'd sold them by the Friday. Uh, an entire development gone within under a week and uh, right now uh, incentives are low and prices are high so I really caution everybody out there at the moment if you're looking to invest you really need to run the slide rule over price per square meter don't forget the golden rules you know lots of transport lots of amenity uh, go where the population wants to be where you get the highest amount of rents uh, we're seeing some um, some good growth in rents at the moment too, which is about time. We had a, a bit of a drop last year and the year before, and even though interest rates are dropping, rents are finally strengthening, which is really, really uh, fabulous to see. But I'd like to give some um, some advice to homeowners at the moment. As you know, part of our plan is uh, you know reduce your mortgage, accumulate assets, you know safeguard and, and contribute to your super and and uh, stick to a budget. Those um, fundamentals haven't changed, but I really think right now I'd like to um, ask you all to have a close look at your mortgage. I personally wouldn't be dropping my mortgage right now. Uh, interest rates are so low, but I would be keeping your mortgage at the rate that you were paying one or two years ago if you can still afford to do that because uh, with interest rates so low, the money is so much cheaper for you on the interest, you can really start to chunk into the principal. And remember, if you're reducing the principal in your home, that's freeing you up for investing. But um, I personally prefer to invest in a bear market. I personally prefer it when everything is really quiet and um, probably a higher risk environment in one way. But, um, you know, don't forget that when it's a, a, a bull market, it is equally as risky. You don't want to overpay. Sometimes people have a rush of blood and jump into something. You've got to do your due diligence. You've got to really inspect what you're expecting and you've got to make sure you're getting value for money. And, um, you know, a lot of people are complaining about the Asian investors at the moment. The Asian investors are only 10% of the market. Uh, I hear Neil Mitchell and, um, and Tom Elliott on 3AW complaining about um, superannuation driving the property market. It's less than 10%. What's really driving the property market at the moment is population and the residential market. It is not the investor market that is driving prices right now. You only have to go to options. You only have to see what people are putting down as the reserve and witness what they're selling for. It's not off the plan that's driving the property market. It is the emotional home buyers. So, um, you know, my heart goes out to people who are buying homes. If anyone wants some advice, happy to, to talk to you before you go and stick your hand up at an auction, give Olivia a call and she'll book in a time for you to chat with me. But so I guess in closing, we're in a bull market, inspect what you're expecting, look at the price per square metre, don't forget the golden rules, amenity, transport, good rents, and keep chunking down your mortgage. Now is the time to really get ahead on the home loan. So thanks for listening. Have a great week and um, talk to you next week. Cheers, bye.